Home Editing and I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to make speed changes in Final Cut Pro 10. So here I've got my Audi spot and I'm just going to zoom in on this clip here. Now what I want to do is speed this shot up and the way you do that in Final Cut is you press Command R then I can just grab the clip and pull it in to speed it up or pull it out to slow it down and you can see the speed change percentage is shown here. Now if you need to change speed in a more traditional way you can bring up the custom speed menu and type in your speed change and it'll do it to an exact percentage. If you don't want it to ripple you can turn rippling off and change it and it won't affect the timing in your timeline. I've also got a load of custom shortcuts set up so I can reset a clip to its normal speed or I can go double speed, four times speed, reset it to double speed, I can reverse the clip, I can reset it to how it normally was. So the second I decide I want to double the speed of a clip, I can just do it at the touch of a button. And the same goes for audio. If I want to speed up this clip here, I just bring up the read time menu and speed it up, and then I can slow it down as well if I want. And then if we just pop over to this clip here, so for example on this shot, if I wanted to slow down the back end of the shot so it lasts a little longer, I can press Shift B to blade the speed of the clip, and then I can just slow down the back half of the shot, and then I've got these fade handles here just to create a speed ramp across time. If I don't want there to be fade handles, I can just double click here and turn off the speed transition. If I feel the speed change isn't looking quite as smooth as I'd like, I can just come over into the read time menu and change the video quality to frame blending or if I want it to look really good optical flow which will then create intermediate frames that make the speed change look really smooth.